PEE, all aortic and mitral valve prosthesis. The patient was brought to the upper room for mitral valve replacement. This is a mid-esophageal view, no dilated left atrium, and a short axis view of a bioprosthetic aortic valve. Long axis view of the bioprosthetic aortic valve. There was some restriction on the right coronary cusp, but no increased velocity, no significant gradient across the aortic valve. Note on this four chamber view, two distinct MR jets, one in focus on the red arrow and one a little off axis, a green arrow. As we continue to rotate the ultrasound probe, it will become a little more clear that there are two distinct MR jets on this patient. Both were paravalvular leaks. There was no significant gradient across the mitral valve. There are several 3D views. Note the position of the aortic valve to keep oriented. Two distinct MR jets, one at 1 o'clock and one at 9 o'clock from the surgeon's view. So a slow down image of the mitral valve. Here you can see the two distinct paravalvular leaks of the MR jets. So you continue to rotate more of the 3D image. You can see MR jet 2 on the right side of the screen and a hint of the MR jet 1 on the left side of the screen. Image is rotated further. Now the MR jet 2 is on the left side of the screen and MR jet 1 is on the right side. And we will continue to rotate the image to see clearly both MR jets. Both were, as I said, paravalvular leaks. Here clearly we can see the two mitral regurgitation jets. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoy.